It's just Phil, telling you how good the Taylor is and his appetite. Still for the game, 22 years I've known this guy. We went to the first tournament together oh, in Moncton. <laughs> he goes and hits the balls up. It's relentless, Stuart. Well, Osborne really would have liked to have started first. So the 25, uh, first leg, Phil. He isn't going to. Fist. Taylor to get yeah. us underway in this final. He beat Osborne, as Rod rightly said, in the UK Open final. It was 11-7 in Bolton. This is the first to six. I'm... Off we go. Well, his first leg in the semi-final against One James hundred. Wade was a little bit indifferent. It was the only leg that was. And uh, sometimes in the early part of matches, Phil Taylor will give you chances. Then chances may only be the 104, 105 checkout, but you've got to take them. Well, this is a terrific start from Osborne. Brilliant start from Osborne. He played like this. In his semi-final against uh, Mervyn King, he was consistent. He was consistently good. What a start. Well, it doesn't get any better, that's for sure. And uh, 137. Phil Taylor comes back at him. But if Osborne can put another two trebles in with these three darts, then could see an upset in the very first leg. And that's the fourth perfect dart, Stu. Well, what a start to this final. Great entertainment. 100 from Taylor. 180 from Osborne. 95. Unlucky. Uh, that dart just drifting into the treble five. But he's still got a chance. Dependence on the great man here. His accuracy is just getting more consistent as well. You know, we, we, he's 50 next year, Phil Taylor. And he's getting better. There's no question in that. I mean, we see him day in, day out, tournament on tournament, leg on leg, and there's no question that he is getting more consistent. And I think a lot of other players are getting demoralised because of it. 97. Phil, you require 100. So 124. 12 data. Osborne's got a shout, though, if Taylor misses. If Taylor misses. Bullseye for the first leg. 99. Colin, you require Well, I said that the chances that Osborne might get will be ton plus shots out, especially against the throw. And here we have one. He's got to go for 19s. Well, treble 16 is normally his route for double 12. Double 12, and what a shot this will be against the throw. Double 12. Game shot in the first Oh, leg. what oh, a no. start! Brilliant from Osborne! A 180 leg, to Collins start the leg, and a 129 yeah. check out to finish it! How about that? Take that, Mr. Taylor! Absolutely superb, but now he's got to follow it up. He must not give his throw away lightly. He's got to work hard, keep concentrating, because he knows now Phil will come at him, and that's a perfect start after a great shot out. What about that? 180 to start it. 1-2. And that's not an easy finish, is it? It's not like a, a combination where you're aiming at the same place for at least two of the darts. 134. Blow for blow at the start of this leg. Yeah, and uh, I have to say Colin Osborne's one of the few players that doesn't look scared of Phil Taylor. I mean, you get Adrian Lewis up there and a few of the others. You can see in their face that they can't beat him before they even throw a dart. But this man, he goes up, plays 96. his own game. And, they, and another thing I like about a lot of the players, but certainly uh, Osborne does it, he doesn't mind switching after the first dart, and he's pretty good on them 19s as well. Well, what a start to the final. 140. But Taylor means business. You can be sure when his opponent does something like that, Taylor will want to come back with something even better. Well, Osborne has probably got nine darts from here. As long as Taylor doesn't hit a 180. 140. And now he's forcing Taylor. Has to hit a 140 to even get a, sh a look at a shot when he returns. Well, that's uh, deflected into the ones. 123. A chance again for Osborne, Colin though. Require 131. Well, what he mustn't do, if he isn't going to take it out, he mustn't leave a bad shot. He's got to leave two dart to the double after this. 
Well, you can't take the 131 out, so make sure you hit one treble with this dart. 55. Let himself down Taylor a bit there, didn't 104. he? 104. Let himself down a bit. Taylor, 104. He's going to have a dart at a double. Double 16 for one all. 72. Another chance for Osborne, 76. 76. Definitely going to get one dart at a double, but how he would like to see this first dart in that treble 20. They'll give him two darts at double eight. And a 2-0 lead in the final. And he's done exactly that. Double eight for 2-0 over Phil Taylor. Oh, does he go left or does he go right and kiss it in off the barrel? 68. It was awkward, wasn't it? Fairly it was the worst it, possible two. place. Two darts missed. A double eight for a 2-0 lead. That's what Taylor needs now. Double four. How often does he hit it with the last dart? Game shot in the second leg. Phil Taylor. Well, when you're a player, Stuart, I've been Third there a lot of times when you're standing behind Phil you and you can see Phil's face Game going, whoa, I got it with the last dart. And it does demoralise you, especially if they do it more than once. You're standing there thinking, oh, come on, give me a break, give me a break. And they get it in and the adrenaline pumps and then it goes off you and uh, that can hurt. Well, so nearly, so nearly the perfect start for Osborne. 96. Two darts, two clean darts at double eight. The first one landed in the worst possible place. He blew it. Brilliant finish, 1-2-9 to take the opening leg. But missing those two darts for a 2-0 lead. And against One Taylor, under. you have to take those chances. How many times do we say it? How many times will we keep on saying it? Well, and we'll keep on saying it as well, Stu, because, you know, Phil does give people chances if you score heavy enough. It's exactly what happened. You know, 2 nil up to one all. It's a massive difference, especially against the power. You know, it gives you confidence. You think, right, now I've seriously got a chance of taking him here. And, uh, well, them two darts are history, so he's got to get about them and just concentrate on keep scoring the way he is. 135. Uh, before this final, 18,600 for Osborne, 16,650 for Taylor. The winner will add 5,000 plus 1,200 for the legs they've won. So, uh, 6,200 pounds to add for the winner. Not bad, is it? 1,000 pounds per leg won in the final. Yeah, nice work, if you can get it. Certainly like to be able to play still myself, but uh, I, don't, I don't mind losing, Stuart, but it's the getting thrashed that I can't handle. 85. I tell you what, though, you'd love to have been among the prize money that these guys are, are playing for these days. Well, the consolation is that, uh, you know, us 14 have given everybody a chance of it and taken this game professional, so... Uh, 60. And it certainly is going the professional route. Could have been 2 0 up. Could soon be 2 1 down, Colin Osborne. Phil Taylor. Looking for another title. 96. Fairly he keeps saying the money doesn't years. bother him. I don't believe in one job. Whether it's 50 quid or 50,000 quid, he enjoys the checks that come through the post. Well, he certainly does. And now, a chance here for Osborne to break Phil's row again. 85. Going to get at least one dart at the ball's eye, surely. But treble 15, and how he wouldn't like to see this dart go in that treble 15. He's exactly what... Now, he's had two darts at a double at 76. Can he take this double top out? Here's and he does, and he breaks Phil Taylor. 2-1 up. Fourth leg, Colin to throw first. Well, game on. It's amazing final, this. It really is. Osborne could have been 3-0 up and throwing for a 4-0 lead.